suddenly you find yourself confused or depressed or excited. Suddenly something hurts that wasn't hurting ever before or you're losing your muscle tone. You can't even stand up. What the heck is going on? And you go to the doctor and what did they do? They looked at the symptoms instead of asking this one question. What's the question they need to ask first before they start prescribing medicine and procedures and tests? The one question they need to ask first is, have you recently started taking a new medication new for you? Why is that so important? Because four months ago, a new medication was given to me. I had a severe allergic reaction to it, but nobody knew that. I lost everything in my life. I couldn't think, I couldn't stand, I couldn't live. I was in intensive care for four days. I didn't know what was wrong and it was all a reaction to a brand new medicine I had never taken before and nobody thought to ask any new medications. So if you're starting on a new medication and something doesn't feel right, anything, whether it's emotional, whether it's physical, whether it's cognitive, whether it's digestion, whatever doesn't feel right to you, stop taking the medicine. First of all, stop taking the medicine. Let it clear your system, and it might take quite a few days to completely clear your system. And then see how much you recover of how you used to be. You know your body better than anybody. Whether or not you realize it, you know your body. So start paying attention to what goes on in your body, to what you feel, to how your body operates, to what it likes and what it doesn't like. And most importantly here, start recognizing all the guidance you're getting from your guides, from your angels, from the universe. Start noticing the signs and the messages and what they're telling you. Know your body. Know that you are never, ever alone in any situation in any time or whatever happens to you you get to choose if you're going to feel scared or if you're going to feel helpless or if you're going to be in charge of you it's a choice and it's a choice that you alone get to make Interestingly, I found myself dressed in my Thrive Don't Just Survive. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was doing this today, so I'll have to get you a picture of all of me, because I can't do that here. I can't get far enough away from the camera, but you'll see my outfit. The only difference is I reversed what's red and what's black. And I know I'm in charge and I know I get to thrive, don't just survive. And you can too. It's a choice. Don't let anybody take that choice from you because you know better than what any doctor's telling you. You know when you listen to your heart, you know what's best for you. You won't listen up here in the mind because what's the mind doing? It's throwing up your fears. It's throwing up your doubts. It wants to be in charge. And nothing coming out of your mind is going to be for you, for your spirit's highest good. But what comes from your heart, 100% of that 
is what's in your highest and best interest. Thank you for joining me here today for Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. Remember to join our Facebook group. Ask questions, make a friend, go on over to our page where you get to listen or watch any episode. We're well over a hundred episodes now of the invisible forces that drive your life and your world. Audible is always here for you where you can pick up a book of your choice and it's a 30 day free trial you can also explore everything in there there are courses there are magazines there are podcasts and of course there are lots and lots and lots of audio books instead of vegging out with a video you can grab an audio a podcast or a book You can put it on your mp3 player. You can play it on your phone. You can go for a walk. Wow, novel thought. See the show notes for all the links I've mentioned. And remember, the most important thing that you do for you is you enjoy. That's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y every moment because nothing in your world ever happens outside of you oh yeah i really appreciate your going over and joining our community i want to know who you are and also your support in making this show happen every week is really really vital It takes time, it takes money, it takes effort, and it takes knowing what you're doing to bring this to you. And I want to know who you are and what you want to know. I look forward to seeing you next time.